to unit four, lesson eight. As usual, you're looking for the tasks to complete for U4L8. You can find it under assignment or on the um, homepage on the weekly calendar. Today's date is December 8th. We're gonna start off with a little breakout room chat. Today's question is, what's your favorite family tradition? And this is pretty broad, so this could be you know, a, a special meal you have during the week, like maybe every Friday night you do something, or it could be something you do for people's birthdays, or like something you, silly you do for your pets, or something you do on a certain holiday, like New Year's or Christmas or Halloween or whatever. Um, so whatever you can come up with and whatever you're willing to share. Think about that for about 30 seconds. And don't forget to say hi and check in with the person you're in the room with as well. We'll come back together in two minutes. Rooms are open. We're sharing everybody. Um, next on the docket is a quick homework check. Things are looking good on that front. Uh, we had the Ed Puzzle on high altitude illness, which we did in class. Looks like everyone has that done. And then there was the reading from Hall about the human eye, which is going to be our focus in class today. Once again, looking great on that front. I'm seeing 10 attempts on that. Any questions or comments from those homework assignments? All right. Uh, we're going to start off with an Ed Puzzle. Um, it's a crash course, human anatomy and physiology, um, all about the eye and vision. So we'll start with that and then we'll build uh, on that with um, a little bit of drawing and a couple little short video activities that I have for you. Um, the video is about 10 minutes long and there's about six questions associated with it. Um, yeah, or it's uh, eight and a half minutes long with six questions. I'm gonna time for 15 minutes. Um, hopefully it doesn't take that long to get through, uh, but we'll come back together once it looks like everyone has that done. As usual, there is an alternative Google form and you can just watch the original video if that puzzle doesn't work for you. Um, so we're on task number three, um, I envision Ed Puzzle. 15 minutes to work on that. Let me know if you have questions or if you're not sure what to do. Go for it. Uh, and so by looking at the turquoise and the black, you are tiring out the green and um, blue cones. And therefore, when he switched to that white screen, white light is composed of all colors. The only sensory cells that are firing are the red ones. And so you kind of get that after image of red. And then the same thing is going on with the um, rods that they are seeing black. And so then I think they just leave it as a white coloration. But anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. That's why the white stars come out as well. Um, any questions or comments on that video? All right, be honest. Did anyone look up the eye popping thing that he mentioned that he said not to Google? I totally did, and I say to you, don't. Oh, it's horrifying. <laughs> um, so, okay, then the next thing is, what struck me after watching this was like, wait a minute, we're only sensitive to three colors. We can only see red, green, and blue, right? Then how are we able to see the incredible array of colors that we're used to seeing in artwork and things like that? And so I've got a little FET simulation that's pretty simple. This is, I'm hoping, will be quite easy. Um, but this is now tasks to complete step number four, color vision. Go ahead and click on that uh, color vision FET simulation. It'll take you to a quiz that looks like this. You're going to be opening up this FET simulation. It's very straightforward. You're going to be using this option, the RGB bulbs, red, green, and blue. And um, I'm going to ask you to switch to this view so you can actually see the brain with the nerve. And all you're doing is uh, switching these switches up or down uh, to shoot little photons at the eye and seeing what color the brain actually interprets and kind of messing around with that a little bit. So uh, I'm going to time for 10 minutes to work through this and we'll see how we're doing after 10 minutes. Let me know if you have questions or need help. 10 minutes to work on the color vision FET quiz.